Right, I'm going to show you a very quick, uh, simple, easy way to test glow plugs. I've got five glow plugs here that have been taken from a Volvo D5 engine and I'm going to test them using this multimeter. I'm going to be testing the resistance so you have the plugs plugged in in the correct slots. Black in the comm socket, red in the resistance socket there. You have the multimeter set on its lowest setting because what you're looking for is a reading of um, really as close to zero ohms as possible. Um, just checking the glow plugs visually, you can't really tell any difference between them. So, um, so this is the easiest way to see which one's okay and which one isn't. All I'm going to be doing is putting the negative lead of the um, multimeter on the nut no further up absolutely the, the nut is the furthest place up really when it's out of the car you can you may as well put it on the body of the glow plug the negative lead but if it's still in the car you can get a good contact on the nut and the positive lead will be going onto the um, the top of the glow plug um, which would be exposed when you pull the glow plug cap off first thing you need to do with your multimeter is to check what the resistance is within the leads themselves they're normally around about 0.2 ohms resistance so if I just tap the leads together there we go so that 0.2 ohms can be taken off the figure that you get so a good glow plug you're looking at really one or less ohms resistance some people say 1.5 but um, my preferred is um, is one ohms and we'll go through them I know that one of these glow plugs is good but um, they're now mixed up so this is the quick and easy way to test so a nice good contact on the nut okay and this particular multimeter shows that reading if um, the resistance measurement is too high uh, for the setting that you've got the multimeter on. I've got the multimeter on 200 ohms so if the figure is more than 200 ohms the multimeter just doesn't register at all so that's no good. So I'll go through the rest of them now. And that one's no good. So all of these so far, well the two so far, they're all showing more than 200 ohms resistance, right? We're getting a reading now. Brilliant, so this one is showing 0.9 ohms resistance. I can knock 0.2 off that figure because of the resistance in the leads of the multimeter. So that glow plug is actually showing between 0.6 and 0.7 ohms resistance. So that one is a good one. I'll just go through the other two once again getting a good contact no that's above and okay so all the others that were bad were showing more than 200 ohms resistance this one's getting a reading where it's showing 196 ohms resistance still way too high you're still looking for a figure of uh, one so uh, so even though we're getting the measurement on this one it's still no good so there we have it we've got four bad glow plugs and you've got one good glow plug I think you'll agree to actually look at them you can't really tell a great difference between them so that's why this test which is so easy um, is really important to weed out the bad glow plugs hope you find that useful okay for this I've picked um, a random um, three glow plugs just to show you a comparative test as to how fast they will actually glow up now the one on the left is the uh, one glow plug that is good um, this particular one was returning 0.9 ohms the one in the middle um, that one has got uh, two, sorry, 600 ohms uh, resistance and the one on the right has got 2000 
ohms resistance. So I'm going to be doing them starting with the worst first, then the second, then the first, and hopefully you'll see in terms of the reaction time and how fast they glow. Bearing in mind you only have a, a short amount of time for the glow plugs to, to work when you turn the ignition on. You'll see the difference in time and as to why um, it's so important that they work correctly. Okay, so this is the 2000 ohm resistance glow plug, 2 kilo ohm. I'm going to connect it to the battery and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now, even after 20 seconds, having the full power of the car battery going through it, there's nothing, no heat. And this one is the uh, what was on this one? Yeah, this was 600 ohms resistance. So I'm going to connect this to the battery. One, three, four, five. Okay, this is the final one. So this is the one that was showing. 0.9 ohms um, on the multimeter so hopefully we'll start getting a result from this one one two three four five six seven there we go I think you can see that's pretty conclusive I'm not even gonna um, have it going for any longer than that because the case has been proved um, so there we have it, I mean, with a correctly functioning glow plug you get almost instant heat and lots of it, I mean getting up to red hot temperatures within seconds, so that's why this resistance test is a brilliant indication of, um, of how good your glow plugs are, so remember one ohm or less, as soon as, even if you're starting to get to two, three ohms, whatever, just change it, just get it sorted uh, and get it swapped out. So I hope you find that little demonstration useful. And I've done it so you don't have to. <laughs>